All right, commercial cleaning companies. I usually talk about residential, but we're gonna talk about LinkedIn content today. And I think that commercial cleaning companies have the most to gain from LinkedIn because it is primarily a B2B social network. It is contrary to popular belief. It is not only to connect for people that you've worked with. LinkedIn is basically the Facebook, is Facebook for professionals. And anyone who says otherwise is, is they're, they're mistaken or they're just like, they're upset. They're upset in some way because they probably joined LinkedIn in 1963 and <laughs> missed the days of posting like cover letter tips. Um, LinkedIn is basically Facebook for professionals. Um, there's no right or wrong way to use it. There is just using it. And one of those ways is creating content so that you stay top of mind. Now, what I'm about to show you here is not to be mistaken for thought leadership type content. This is to continue to drop the uh, nuggets here and there, relevant nuggets, that keep you top of mind, okay? Um, we want to dominate social media, so you want to be publishing multiple times a day. There are people who um, will recommend like, you know, three posts per week on LinkedIn, because if you post more, it, it, it inhibits the reach of, of other content that you publish around the same time or whatever. I don't know how true that is, um, because the more content you put out, the more eyeballs are going to see it at the end of the day. And, and the social media algorithms are not going to penalize you for publishing relevant content. So what I want to show you today is a way to build a lot of content really quickly. This is going to be for LinkedIn. So I have 10 topics here. This is just 10 for example. You can do however many you want. I like to create this content in these spreadsheets, download it as a CSV and upload it into Nurturely Plus so that it schedules all of that content for the next year, like in, it's as quickly as it can upload, that's all it does. But in here, this is how I create my content to start, the social content anyway. So there's no formatting or anything. Sometimes there might be emojis. Um, oh, that's because it has a formula in there. Oh, never mind. sorry, I got distracted there for a second. So I have these topics and then three variations of the post. Not necessarily variations because we're going to use all of them. We want to, we say we're going to talk about the importance of a clean workplace for, for employee productivity and health. We're going to have three posts about this. Let's say um, we do a three week social media campaign organic campaign talking about these 10 topics. And every week you're going to talk about these, these 10 topics one time. Week two, week three, you're going to say something a little bit different every time, right? This is an example. So I hooked up chat GPT to my uh, Google Sheets and I can just put its answers right here with just a function, with just the equals GPT function. So I said to create the first post equals GPT, craft a value rich LinkedIn post about A2, about the importance of a clean workplace for employee productivity and health. Ah, see, dang it. All right, so, cause it has the formula in there, I don't know what the whole thing is yet. So I'm going to paste it over here. Or try see what it says. Oh, it does all those quotes. I hate how it has quotation marks in it, but whatever. This is long. So like, it does sound like chat GPT. It does sound AI right now. 
Um, but it's not like false. A cluttered and dirty workspace can lead to distractions, which can negatively impact employee productivity. So you should hire the cleaning company. These are really good ways to like using chat GPT content as good as a good way to like further agitate the pain they already have, but your thought leadership content is going to be like what like sells them. This is going to keep you top of mind and like continue to show your expertise, but like this isn't your thought leadership stuff. I think this sounds um <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to change this prompt. I want it to enter, hit enter more, and I want it to be in a different tone. So I'm going to say in a, in a friendly tone, don't use commas because it mess, messes up the functions in here. So like, I want to use a comma in a normal sentence in a friendly tone, please, or whatever. Don't use a comma in this yet. It, it can understand it. Craft a value rich LinkedIn post about Double space every few lines to utilize white space. Oh, it's doing all of them. Dang it. I wanted to see what all those others were because they feed off each other. I'm going to show you why. It's because it hasn't loaded yet. Oh, there we go. Okay. So when this loads, this one will load. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. What? Well, I don't like that because I hate how it includes like, oh, your name and stuff in there. Okay, so let's say. It's really fine because you're going to go in there and edit. if you're going to use this stuff, like you should go in there and edit that. Best regards. Um, expanding. On. Craft a value rich LinkedIn post about A2, okay, while expanding on B2. So it's it's like I did it. What the? I feel like I've messed something up. Yeah, right. I can't believe these right now. They're copy down. What is this? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, this is like, this worked really well because I published like 200 pages to my WordPress site using this, but like, I'm just trying to figure out the prompt and I should have started the video. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Which this would wait before going. There it goes.
by using hashtags. So it's, hey everyone. Okay. So what I was trying to do with these posts, okay, so it's working. The first one is working perfectly. The second one, I wanted it to create another post mentioning the same topic, but also keeping in mind B2 and not repeating anything there. And that's what was creating the problem before. So like right here in post two, I want it to create another LinkedIn post on that same topic while expanding on B2. Or I had it without repeating anything I already mentioned. And that's in here, you can see it, without repeating anything in C2. And now it's like, oh, I don't have a name, but I hope this helps. Well, where in the fuck, all of that, did it get? Like, oh, what's your name? You know what I mean? It has a thousand words to pick from there. And it's like, oh, you're asking what's my name? No, I'm not. Okay. So. Let me see. I'm going to change the tone then every single time because I need it to be different. In a Professional tone. This one's going to be. I have friendly, professional, enthusiastic. Let's see what we get. Or are there more in conclusion? They are different and like, it's okay. <sighs> That's one thing I'm learning in the marketing world. Someone posted it the other day, well, oh, a couple weeks ago now. Marketing, like good marketers know how to say one thing a thousand different ways. So it's not bad that they're similar. They should be similar. You want to remain consistent in your messaging, but say it differently every time so that it feels new-ish. Okay, now we got all these topics. The next one, the benefits of professional commercial cleaning services over in-house cleaning. You can read all of these here. Now, I'm gonna show you something really fun. I have set this up in such a way that all I gotta do is take this little dot, do that, and it is going to create the rest of my 27 posts. This is a month's worth of, of content right here, and they're going to start popping in. It says, hey, everyone, a lot. It says, as professionals, as business professionals, you can change all this stuff. I'm, I'm going to show you how once we get our, our base post. It's almost, we got four more. So I'm going to leave the top row with the formulas, but I'm going to, this, I, I do this, I think this has a setting called uh, a six hour cache. Um, basically, if you refresh this, it's going to try to like grab new text every time, but I, I want to keep this. I don't want to keep paying for that generation. So I'm going to take this, these ones, 
nine, and I'm going to do Command Shift V and paste it there just so the words are here. See, all the words are here, but if I go up to the top, it has the formulas in there. So I can remember it. I'm okay if it does three, but I don't want it to do 30. And I want to remember what prompt I used because I don't want to have to type that all out again. I'm lazy with that stuff. So now you can go in here and see, see like all these will say like your name. Um, you want to be able to remove all that out so it looks like it wasn't generated by AI, but it's totally okay that it was. Add some emojis and get some, um, ooh, misconceptions. Beautiful, see? Well, this It's so easy to do this. And then with the help of Nurturely Plus or Hootsuite or Buffer, you can upload it to your socials and schedule it all out. Use this for LinkedIn and with your consistency, you're going to find opportunity. The opportunity is going to find you. But the best part is you're not you're not having to put any mental energy, mental stress into this beyond creating it here and scheduling it. What's the difference if you were to put the time and effort into it right now, making sure every one of these is okay versus doing it every single day? It's better to batch your work. It's it's what every every successful person would recommend anyway. So don't feel guilty about scheduling posts. Um, I, I used to feel very guilty about all that, but name a business that doesn't use automation. Talk to you soon.